Hi, welcome to another um, Summer of Love video, a little bite-sized bit of information about all sorts of animals and their emotional well-being. And I'm joined today by the wonderful Kate Thornton from International Equine Professionals. Um, hi, Kate. Hi, how are you doing? Yeah, good, thank you. So we're going to talk about horses a little bit today on the specific topic of the importance of smell as a sensory uh, input for horses. And, and that's hopefully... Uh, very re uh, very relevant with pet remedy, the use of pet remedy. Uh, mm -hmm. But share us about your own experiences and your own thoughts about se um, senses of smell with horses. Okay, I think um, smell is something that as humans, we perhaps don't appreciate uh, from the perception of other beings, just how, how acute their sense of smell is. And whilst horses don't possess uh, nearly as many olfactory receptors as with the wonderful dogs they do still have considerably more than us so somewhere between the two um and as a prey animal obviously senses are hugely important to the horse uh, they need to be vigilant it's part of their makeup it's part of their adaptation and um, that hasn't disappeared just because we've domesticated them and because we we live with them that is still still highly important to them and instinctive um and so i think that sometimes it can be extremely beneficial to just stand back and, and watch and just see what are they interested in what different stimuli in their environments gets their attention and what do they look like when they sense those things we can't tell everything that they're smelling which is one of the things that i always um talk about because it's quite close to my heart is being out with a horse and suddenly the head goes up nostrils flare eyes go wide we look and we say don't be stupid there's nothing there and it's just it's a little bugbear of mine because clearly there is something there and for um for any animal when they go into that sympathetic state of flight or fight they've seen that they've heard they've smelt something in the environment um it pays them to stop and think, what is that? Am I in danger? They need to have the time to emotionally and um, uh, to, to just stand and process what they're, they're sensing in the environment. Um, so I, do, I just think it's fascinating, actually, to just give them the time to be able to process that in their own time and come to their own decision that, actually, I'm still here. That wasn't a threat we're now safe to move on. Um, just a way of building trust and, and just understanding them a little bit better. Uh, but with the sense of smell and, and other sense being so acutely important to horses, it's also interesting to see what smells in the environment interest them. For example, different herbs, different plants. Um, and this is where I found Pet Remedy hugely interesting. Um, so I'm a, an equine body worker, so I'm, I'm a musculoskeletal therapist. Um, there's sometimes horses that are a little bit worried about a stranger coming onto the yard. Could it be a vet? Don't know. So I have used Pet Remedy quite routinely in my work. Um, and I always find it quite interesting to see their expression change when they think, hmm, that's an interesting smell. And they really get in close and you get really deep breaths, really processing that smell profile um, and horses I think are quite interesting because they've got twin olfactory bulbs one for each nostril which is just amazing so the olfactory bulb being the center of um, uh, of smell processing let's say so they can smell in different directions they can smell in stereo uh, and I just think that that's amazing <laughs> they never cease to amaze me um, but yeah, they have been in the past just so interested in that, but also different people have different pheromonal profiles. So we just all smell different and we can't necessarily all sense that ourselves, but other animals can, which is another thing that makes them so amazing and, and part of their evolutionary processes. It's meant that that's the case. Um, but, you know, you bring your friend down to see your horse. What does a friend smell like? Let the horse have a really, really good smell um and I, I just find it quite fascinating but these types of things can help to build an emotional profile as well things that have been present in the environment um in terms of smell and we're focus, focusing on smell here but obviously other senses come into it as well um 
via associative learning um, can then become a conditioned emotional response. So they smell that again in the future if they if, if it had scared them on the day, it's likely to trigger a similar emotional response. But, but the same for positive experiences as well. So um, I think it's it's just important to bear in mind what an individual is experiencing in a moment. And that's very personal to them. Um, horses are very sentient beings. They're very uh, capable of a whole range of emotions, as are we. Um, and, yeah, it's it's all very personal. And so, so this is where labels kind of rile me as well, the naughty, the silly, um, all of the things that we judge on the, the human perspective. That's really interesting, especially earlier, uh, definitely on, on labels and judgment, because I think that already blocks our response because we're going to start treating that behaviour or that yeah. individual in a certain way based on a, probably an inaccurate representation of what they're experiencing. So I think that's a, a, a yeah. really good point. But it's interesting we say there about the associative learning because what I'm hearing is, especially when we think about pet remedy with horses, on the one side you have that kind of um you, you shared with me before about how often horses are attracted to that part of the body where the pet remedy might be and they're like i'm really easy to take that in and uh and that almost instant moment of feeling nice about it that's nice and that's good so you have that kind of one mode of uh, action if you like which is the actual active doing the thing but also if the if the animal has chance to keep repeating that oh i do have time to process and even though you're new to me and remember the horse or the dog or the cow or anything is, is picking up other things as part of that scent profile but there's a familiar mm, connection there if i kind of you know if i smell this actually as part of that and i have a predictable outcome so i know that i'll have time and my safety is being looked at it's quite powerful that association over time isn't it hugely powerful and i think um if you think uh of smell as a um, um a, a kind of uh what word am I looking for as a method of creating a memory I'm sure that everybody listening has particular smells that might hit them and it takes them straight back to a childhood memory um and whether that memory is good or bad the the, the similar emotion even years later is evoked so um if I go and see a horse and I spray some pet remedy my favorite perfume on and uh and the horse has a positive experience with me i would say that the chances are that the next time i go and see them depending on what else has happened for that horse in that day um the other smells as you say my other natural smells that they they may have paired with the pet remedy and that positive feeling um could still evoke a, a positive emotional response and so that is hugely powerful because then we're, we're able to um, create and help horses in the many uh, situations where they may not feel emotionally um, stable. And, and there are so many of those when we think about, you know, the, the difference between the free living horse and the domesticated horse and the things that we we ask them to do by choice and because we have to. Um there are there's just so many examples but you know changing homes that's that's something that a horse goes through many many times in their lives as we've said before um as ruth said last time we spoke um and just adaptation to that new environment and everything that's happened uh it's just huge and i think we expect so much so soon of the horse in the new home not everybody obviously there's a lot of people who are very aware of this but yeah, so there's lots of applications. Well, thank you for that. And I think, um, you know, emotional well-being matters. That's what we're pushing forwards. And because it really does. Yeah. It matters for me, it matters for you, it matters for the horse, the cat. And I think this process isn't about us necessarily changing everything. It's just what can we do, even in small ways, just to give a nod to the emotional well-being of the other and think about these yeah, things. Yeah, the understanding of physical well-being has moved on quite a bit in recent years. We're more aware of the physicality, but the emotionality is important too. And uh, yes, mm. Kate uh, joined me in the emotional well-being in uh, animals group with Ruth Evans to have a discussion. It's a, it's a longer format of this, really, so that's well worth looking at as well. But that's been amazing today, Kate. Thank you so much for sharing that with us. That's been a really interesting uh, little window into thinking about these things and also how Pet Remedy will be supportive, I think, for on many of these different areas to 
give that nod to the emotional well-being and, and i think it gives you that little thinking um one final thing um where can people find more from the international um equine professionals um so our website is uh iepglobal.net uh you find lots of resources on there lots of articles papers uh our past webinars but also who we are what we're about um and our facebook page is at iep global so you find us there and all of the exciting things that our members are doing. So, but thank you very much for inviting me, Andy. It's, it's been a, a great opportunity to have a bit of a shout out on um, on a, just a small element of the horse, but it's so important, as you say, and, and exciting things that, that um, this awareness will actually lead to for them. Brilliant. Thank you, Kate. Thank you, everybody. Uh, tune in for Thanks. another small Summer of Love uh, bite-sized chunk. Look out for those in the group and on the uh, Pet Remedy Facebook page. Thanks, Kate. Thanks, Sandy. Take care.